If you guys are looking for the cheapest and most reliable coins on the market, make sure to head over to utnice.com. You're going to click on FIFA 21 right here. Choose your platform you're buying coins on. Choose the amount of coins you'd like to purchase. Click buy now and then put in the discount code CHIEF for 6% off your order. Now let's go ahead and let's get right into this video. What's up guys, it's Fief Chief here and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we have for you episode 3 of the brand new FIFA 21 Road to Glory series. Now if you are enjoying the content or you are new around here, I ask that you guys do hit that subscribe button. We're going to try to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of FIFA 21, so it would mean a lot if you did subscribe. And then make sure to check out all the links in the description, like Twitch for all my daily live streams where I'm actually streaming right now while I'm recording this, Discord for all sorts of trading invest trading investments, things like that, and then all the other links down there as well. And with that said, let's dive into this Road to Glory episode. And if you guys would, please hit that like button right now. It does help me out a ton. Now, first thing with this Road to Glory episode is we started recording this because we just finished the Bellati objective here. We finished up getting our seven wins. This took me ages to do because I was doing it in Rivals. And to show you the squad, this is the uh, the squad I was walking, I was rocking in Rivals to get this done. But I didn't do this in squad battles, which would have been quicker because now we're up to nine thousand eight hundred thirty Rivals points. So I'm gonna try to get to rank one by the end of tonight when I'm recording this, which is basically about twelve thousand points. So then we can get some really good packs for the account, which will hope hopefully help us get fodder to help get these um these US SBCs done, the Altador, the McKenney, and the John Brooks, which if you didn't see the last episode, this is the, um, where's the concept squad? There it is. This is the squad we're going to be working towards. So we're going to have Bellotti once we claim him. We're going to have Brooks, McKenney, and Altador, and then we're able to afford the rest of the squad as well. As you can see, it's just a lot of cheap beasts in there. So let's go claim ourselves Bellotti here. We decided on stream as well that the go-to for him is going to be the engine chemistry style. Really excited to play with this guy. Finally have like an out-and-out -out striker in the team. A guy that's actually going to put the ball in the net when he shoots. He's only got the three-star skills, which is kind of annoying, but he does have the five-star weak foot, which is sick. So I am excited to get him in, but there he is, the Bellotti card. Oh, what a beauty, man. What a beauty. 93 pace, 90 dribbling, 94 shooting. I mean, this guy's going to be a monster, especially with that engine chem style. And if we check his in games out, high, high. I kind of wish he was high medium, but I'll just put him on stay forward. 5'11", right footed with that five star weak foot. And as you can see, these stats are just incredible. So I'm going to get him in the team, obviously, for the rest of these... Uh, for the rest of these rivals games and as we've been completing stuff obviously we've been moving up the um the season levels here we'll take the monkey i've been kind of liking the monkey stuff we've been moving up the season levels and completing just all sorts of different objectives here so hopefully we get to level 15 here probably go for this giovinko since he links with our Bellotti. oh that'll be sick now I'm really excited to get that. This is actually the first time I've looked at this. We're 100% going to take that Giovinco. He'll be super, super fun to get in the squad. And then in terms of the next objectives we're doing, I want to get this Silver Summer done to get some packs for basically Friday, tomorrow when you're watching this. So then hopefully we have a chance at hitting some of those cool players. And again, we want to get as many packs as possible so that we can just hopefully hit fodder as well to help us get those US SBCs done. And then I want to get Meslier done as a Premier League keeper and a French player. Gets great links, so we can get some good things there. And then after that, just going to be doing icon swaps to get some packs for fodder. And then just got some, some of these silver objectives I just need to play squad battles for, which I'll dive into on stream here. It'll be quick and easy to get done. But in terms of that, and then again, just working through all these milestones as well to just get more and more packs. 
And then after that, it's basically just finishing up these foundation SPCs to get ourselves even more packs. So we've got a plan kind of put together for where we're heading with the team, with the account, in terms of what we're trying to get. So it is going to be a grind here. Lots of gameplay, things like that. But I'll catch you in a second when we've kind of completed more of these objectives, maybe some of those foundation SBCs, and we've kind of made a bit of progress. So we'll catch you guys in a second. All right, guys, we are back. It is a lot later than when I recorded the first section of this episode, but we have done so much work on the account. I have a lot to show you right now. So we've been grinding a ton of gameplay. So in terms of objectives, as you saw earlier, we completed Bellati. He's in the team. Um, I went ahead, I did all of the week one and week two bronze, silver, and gold objectives. So we're all caught up on all of those. Bellati's done, like I mentioned. So in terms of objectives, all we have left to do is we need to win four games in this silver summer thing to get this 81 plus times seven pack. And then we just need to do icon swaps, basically. And in terms of icon swaps, we've already got three out of seven for the Argentina squad and three out of seven for the silver squad. So we're four games away from already having two icon swaps tokens. And for icon swaps, what we're going to do for that is we're going to take basically all the packs at the beginning here and that'll be all of our tokens basically, which will be really, really nice for us. So we'll be able to get this 84 plus times 20, this 83 plus times 25, and this 81 plus times 25, which will be exciting. And what we're going to do is we're going to open these during this next promo, this Summer Stars thing that's supposed to come. And hopefully we can pack some sort of massive card out of it. And if not, basically the fodder that we get will just help us towards getting all of the, uh, all the US players SBCs done here that we're uh that we're waiting to do and these united states players obviously we still have five days to do but i'd like to get them done as soon as possible and get them into the team now we do have a bit of fodder as i mentioned already so we're honestly not that far away from at least having one of them as you can see here uh, we've got a decent start to kind of getting one of these squads done obviously we can't do it right now we don't have enough right there but like we can get together an 83 rated squad in there and that's with like some 80s, 81s, 82s in there. So we're actually looking very, very good here in terms of getting this done because we have lots of packs coming. And that's kind of the next thing I have to show you is we finished up Div Rivals here. All of our grinding, we're comfortably in rank one. We've got way more than enough because I just had to play some more games to, to get, what am I trying to think here? to basically just get some other objectives done in week two gold and week one gold. So I'm kind of stuck in two minds here. I'm tempted to take untradeable packs to stock the club up and hopefully get fodder to complete those SBCs. But I'm also tempted here to just take 65,000 coins. I'm, kind of, I'm stuck in two minds, like I mentioned. I'm going to wait to claim my rivals rewards and kind of see what you guys say in the comments and what the people in the stream so say. So let me know what you think I should take from rank one. I'm leaning towards untradeable packs, but we'll just have to see, basically. So that's kind of where we're at with that. And the big thing we did was in the objective section, in the season progress, with all the work we put in, we were able to get to level 15 here. So we're actually able to get this Giovinco card in the squad, which I'm super excited about. Three really good cards here. Uh, Hamshik basically has no links. He's probably the best of all the cards, but being in the Swedish league and Slovakian, he basically doesn't link to anybody. Alvarez is tempting being Mexican and in the Eredivisie, but Giovinco with that Bellotti card we've got, it just has to be him in my mind. So we're going to take this 89 rated Giovinco card, which is absolutely massive for the team. And I kind of want to show you a new team I created while I was just hanging out here doing some SBCs, a bit of trading earlier and kind of see what you guys think and again i'm not going to go buy all the players right now just because the team could change a ton based out of what we get in our packs this weekend when we open them but right now this team looks absolutely sick to me and in terms of what we have to get these two are both objective cards 
these are the SBCs we're going to complete, and then we just have gold rare, gold rare, gold rare. So the only coins we're really going to have to spend are on this Bernadeshi card, who is surprisingly really cheap for how good his card is. This Foot Birthday Bernadeshi is like 45k right now, and he's 5, five star, 5 star, he's 6 1, he's got really good stats. I'm really excited to try this card out, but again, this could all change if we were to hit something massive in the 83 plus time times 25, the 81 plus times 25, any of those icon swaps packs, or just our other packs that we're going to get. But I really like this team just because I believe it's four leagues and four nations. We get one, two, three, four, five US players in here, which is really sick, I think. And everybody gets full chemistry here, I believe, once they get in their actual positions, which is really, really cool. I'm a big fan of this team. So... I, part of me hopes we don't hit anything cool just so I can use that team, but obviously I want to hit cool stuff in the packs. And then right now I'm just holding on to all the packs I'm getting just because other than we can open up this stadium development pack, um, just because we're going to open it on Friday just for the potential to... Uh, to hit something big if we were to get lucky but we do have some have a preview pack we could open here 7.5k pack let's see if maybe we get lucky here hit something we can make some good coins off of come on ea doesn't look like it's going to be anything no boards here something i need to do here as well is do my silver preview packs because if we were to see like a Finland or a Hungary player in here, it would definitely be worth buying because we can make some good coins off those. Someone in my chat earlier, it was either Reckless or Rocky, hit a Finland center back, I believe it was, out of a silver preview pack. So there is potential to make some good coins off these. But that's kind of the direction the account is headed in. Everything is kind of dependent on Friday and just kind of seeing basically how lucky we are in our packs and if we aren't going to hit anything massive we'll have the fodder to do all these sv all these spcs we have the coins to get bernadeshi so we'll have a very very sick team going in to this upcoming week unfortunately i can't play weekend league this weekend because one i don't have enough points to qualify and two i won't even be here this weekend so at the end of the day it's not that big of a deal so we've got div huge Div Rivals rewards coming. Squad battles were in a good place. Uh, we could definitely get up to like elite level for squad battles. And then I'm going to complete these marquee matchups right now before they expire. And some of these different pack SBCs here that I deem worth it. And then on top of that, we still have all these foundations SBCs that we can do as well. So we're going to have a ton of packs coming in, a ton of things. And we've got this sick team we're going to work towards as well. I'm super excited for where we're at with the account. And if you guys do have any suggestions on things I could do, per usual, let me know in the comments. I love hearing that kind of stuff. But guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next video.